Well, hello from Glencoe. Great to see you today. Um, and I'm actually in a top secret location in the village of Glencoe. I don't really want to divulge where it is because I don't want to overrun a little bit, but it's a beautiful location. And the reason I'm here is because the autumn colours have just come in. It's kind of late October and it's really late now, but the colours in the trees are absolutely stunning this year. I feel like it's been, I've been here right, 18 years and I feel like the colours are so much more vivid this year for some reason. Maybe it was that really dry spell at the start of the year and then very wet for the rest of it. And it's been very warm as well, very mild. So the trees have sort of gone a bit later. Now have a look at this maple tree just up the road from where I live in Balahulish and look at the colours of those. I mean, those red leaves are just truly fantastic. So the reason I'm here today is because of that beautiful autumn colours and I was looking for a nice spot that's got some beautiful trees in it and also some foreground interest by the way of the River Co. So come and join me as I go and explore the top secret location for autumn colours in Glencoe. Okay, so I've come to this little section of the River Co here and the reason being is, is the rock formations are truly amazing. There's a little gorge section and then what happens is when we get some real high flow, it gouges out all these holes in the rocks. They're absolutely spectacular, they really are. And then because it's quite sheltered here, we get that beautiful green moss that you get quite a lot in Scotland. So it just looks fantastic. So I'm going to look for a nice composition around here somewhere which gives me that sort of beautiful water and it's very clear, I can see right through, with the leaves floating in it because of its autumn and all the leaves are flying off and then some of these boulders in the foreground and some of these rock formations looking up to the bridge. Okay, so I've wandered down the river a little bit. I don't want to go too far from the bridge because then the bridge will become too small in the shot. And I think that's a nice sort of centerpiece for this image. So I'm, I don't want to go too far away. So I've come down a little bit. I've had to put my running shoes on now. I know this area is very slippy. It's actually quite dry today, but you get some rain in this location and this, these rocks, because they're covered in this lichen and moss, they're like glass, they really are, so they're very slippy. Um, but I think I've got a, a good location. Now it's all about the foreground here because these rock formations are so beautiful. It's trying to find one that's going to sort of guide the eye and lead the eye to the final destination, which is the bridge itself. So I think there's a few around here, which is pretty good. And then obviously I'm getting those nice golden colors in the leaves as well. Okay, so I've come a little bit further down and these rocks are really sticking out really nice. Now, so I really like the shape of them. But actually what I'm looking for is when you've got this water flowing in the autumn, you get these leaves flowing down on the river, you get these little eddies that spin around and it's hard to see really. You have to kind of sit there and look at them to find them, but you'll get these little circular sort of eddies of the leaves and when the leaves are in it, they go in a circle. So that's actually what I'm looking for. And that's why I've come here because I think I found one of these eddies right here. So um, I'm going to get myself set up here. As you see, I've got my camera here and I've done a quick check shot, but I definitely got something spinning around here, which is going to work really well for me. 
yeah i think i found a really nice composition i think this is going to be an absolutely beautiful shot i'm really delighted with it the color of the water as well it's got that blue hint so like a turquoisey color to it which is unusual actually for this time of year um, we've had a lot of rain a few weeks ago but the last few days has been quite dry so that kind of filters out all the brown muck that you get in the rain and now we're back to kind of clear filtered water and it gives you that nice blue and sort of hint of turquoise in it okay i'm going to flip you around and show you the composition of this one so there's my camera and i've gone into portrait orientation here i'll see i'll do one in landscape as well just to see and um, but what i'm going to use is i'm going to use this kind of there's like a little gully of, of leaves here and this bit of leaves here which works really nice these leaves here as well actually and that's kind of guiding the eye up to the shot and then as i track on up through the uh through the video you'll see then i've got this beautiful beautiful turquoise and i think the little eddies here i can see these leaves rotating around here so i think that's where the eddy is uh, and that looks lovely and then it guides you up to the bridge itself now i've got to be a bit careful here because if i uh get these these rocks in in the foreground here i'm really going to need to focus stack i've taken a check shot and i can get these really nice and sharp but because they're so close to the camera the bridge itself is slightly out of focus so i'm going to focus stack this and also there's a bit of wind about and i don't want that foliage wobbling about again and i've talked about that in my previous videos so what i don't want is is the foliage moving around i want it pin sharp nice and crisp so actually how i've done this shot i'm going to make it simple for myself i'm going to take a shot of the foreground here in focus focusing on the foreground super slow that'll get me that nice little eddy and get the foreground in focus and then i'm going to move on up and i'm going to take another shot of the bridge but really fast so that's going to be about a 20 25th of a second and then the rocks at the bottom i've gone to four seconds and then i'm going to blend them two together and that will give me a nice sharp image in terms of focus throughout but also really quick shutter speeds will keep those trees nice and sharp but then i'll still slow it down in the water and have that lovely eddy that was a little bit complicated explanation but i'll show you what i mean when i show you the shot so after a little bit of post-processing if the shot works is the image Oh, okay, that was a great image, weren't it? I'm delighted with that. I was really pleased. Oh, waiting for those eddies. It took me ages to get one right in the right place, but I was very lucky and it just worked out perfect. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is there's some good compositions further on down this river here. Uh, and I know there's some better rock formations as well. So I'm going to head a bit further down and get right in the gorge section. So I've come past all the gorge section, I'm down to a little place uh, the locals know as the tidal pool, great for swimming in the summer, but uh, it's just the compositions are not, not grabbing me really, it's a beautiful location, but the gorge is just a little bit enclosed, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to head back up the gorge and just see if I find a better composition, because I just feel like it's just overlapping a little bit. I mean, these rock formations are brilliant though, I've got to say, and uh, if I could get some of them in the shot, that would be fantastic. 
Okay, so I've got a bit lower down to the gorge section. I'm in the sort of, the falls are just in front of me and then it goes into this gorge section. And some of these rock formations are truly amazing. It really is, it's a big sandstone area this is. It's all sandstone and then it's been tilted up as the plates have collided in the Devonian. And then, uh, yeah, what you've got is it's almost like ice cream. I'm feeling it's like ice cream when you just scoop it out. Um, so this is all this erosion with this very fast water coming down and boulders kind of scooping out the sandstones. Um, but yeah, there's some truly amazing formations here. So I kind of want to capture them in the shot somehow if I can. Yeah, I've just found this amazing structure here. It's like a big chimney coming down to the bottom of the rock. It must be, what, three meters tall? And how it's formed is a big boulder will get trapped in here and then it'll work like a pestle and mortar and it slowly wears the rock down and then disappears. Uh, and the boulder's gone, but uh, now I've got this little chimney here, which is fantastic. What a great formation. If you're into your macro landscapes, wow, that's gonna really get you excited. But I'm looking for something a bit bigger. Yeah, really slippy. I've got wet feet. But I found a lovely little composition here which works really well. I don't quite see the falls, I might go back up to the falls in a minute. But some of these shapes in these rocks are absolutely stunning, they really are. So if I can incorporate a little bit of that in the shot, there's like holes and you can kind of see through into the water. It's just amazing the power of this water, it really is. So I'm liking some of this around here. So I think what I'm doing is I'm going to find a good composition here. I won't get the actual falls in, but I'll get the river coming through it. And then maybe some more sort of micro landscape stuff, which looks amazing at the moment. Well, I'm really loving this. There's a big hole here and I can see through into the river below. That's really a nice feature, it really is. Um, so I think I'm going to use that as a location, maybe in the bottom left hand side of the frame guiding up the eye. You don't see a full flow of the river I'm afraid but it does jut back so there's no way I'm going to get a nice easy flow of the river. So I think I'm going to incorporate this big hole because it's such an unusual feature and that's going to work for me I reckon. Yeah I think this is going to work. Um, it <laughs> it's so dicey. It brings a new definition to diciness and if I drop anything it's gone, it's away. So uh, the, the tripod is very perilously parked. And I need some height as this as well. So I've actually got the central column right up. So it couldn't be, it's about as, as stable as an 18 year old on his first drinking session, it really is. So I think what I'm going to do is hold onto this tripod with about three hands, just because I've already lost the tripod this year. And I, this is brand new, so I can't afford to lose another one. But I think the composition is really good. Okay, so let me talk you through this composition. So here is that beautiful hole that goes all the way down through the rock and into the river. And there's a few lovely little gorge sections here as well. It's just fantastic formations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that in the corner and then that, I've got this eye leading the eye up through the river there and then up to all these unusual formations. There is a bit of the waterfall there, but I'm not really going to see it. And then I've got these beautiful golden colours hanging around here of the autumn colours. I think that's a really nice shot. I think what I'm going to do is I might slow it down a little bit. I'm not sure how much because it's quite fast flowing here. And because it's so fast flowing, I'm not getting those leaves like I got in the shot further up. Um, so that's okay. I think I'm probably going to slow it down. I might do a couple of shots here and do a really super slow one. And then something not too slow, probably half a second. And then maybe give a 30 second flow. And then let's see what the, what the best shot is. Right, I think I'm really happy with this. So if this shot works, here's the shot.
was wonderful, weren't it? What a great shot. I'm so delighted with that. What I had to do is kind of mix them together a little bit. So I had to take that super fast shutter speed for the vegetation again. And there we did the really slow one for the blurred water. And actually, as you saw in the end, I actually went really soft again, just to make sure that I got some contrast between these very angular rocks and this super soft water. And I think it come out really nice. Let me know what you think. Go down into the comments and write a few words. I love hearing from you. Now do me a favour, just stop what you're doing, head on down, click on that thumb. It does make a massive difference for the algorithms, so it just encourages me to do the videos. And if you really like my content, as usual, go to the subscribe button and click on the bell, and you'll get a notification every time I post. Well, it's wonderful to see you. I'm off to Sky for a few days and stuff like that on workshops for the next couple of weeks. So it might be a bit till I post. So, but until then, I look forward to seeing you again, and thanks for watching. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> My rescue. <laughs>